Yo, what is going on guys? It's Zebra. Welcome to another MLB The Show 20 card review. In this one, I'm going over a 91 overall breakout Ty Cobb from the Detroit Tigers. This card was obtainable through headliner packs and is no longer the headliner, but you can still get him in packs or you can buy him off the marketplace. He's currently selling for around 40,000 stubs. So if you guys know me, you know Ty Cobb was one of my favorite cards last year. The 99 version of him was super clutch for me. It made me a lot of money in tournaments. I absolutely love me some Ty Cobb. So I was really excited to use this card. Um, and I did honestly perform really well with this card, but this is kind of a weird review because despite the fact that I did well with him, uh, this is not a card I would recommend for most people based on my experience. So let me actually start this review with the stats, which is kind of backwards of what I usually do. Uh, but I can kind of just preface it for y'all. So 150 plate appearances is a lot. I grind, I've been grinding top 50. Um, so I use this card way more than some of my other cards that I've reviewed. Uh, and I use him pretty much exclusively on Legend. So you can see uh, 319 batting average, but really less than a thousand OPS is kind of concerning. This card doesn't hit for a lot of power. Um, I just think really this card shines the most on Legend. Um, and he just is what he is. Uh, not a lot of power. Faced an insane amount of right-handed pitching, which is kind of weird and kind of sucks for him because he has minor reverse splits. Uh, but yeah, those were my stats with him. And then you can see the reverse splits playing out. 292 versus right, 406 versus left. Uh, also got caught stealing twice in four, or twice in six attempts despite 99 speed, which kind of sucks. It's kind of a product of this year being able to do a perfect throw meter from your catcher, but. Um, overall, he performed pretty much how I expected, and given that, I don't think he should make most of y'all's teams. Like I said earlier, uh, this card generates most of his value from his speed, obviously, 99 speed is amazing, but also from his high contact, high vision. He is definitely a contact hitter, and given the fact that most of you play on Hall of Fame difficulty or lower, I just don't think that this type of card is necessary or good for most people that watch my card reviews. So I used him on Legend. He was very useful on Legend because the high contact and vision helped me a lot with the small PCIs. Uh, but for most people, I would not recommend this card. Specifically against righties, he's he must have some attribute like just teetering with his power. Like 55 must be like just barely on the verge of good enough to hit home runs because I had the strangest experiences with perfect perfects with this card. Um, I couldn't really tell the difference. Sometimes my perfect perfects like on pitches on the corner were just no doubt moonshots against right-handed pitching. And sometimes they would hang a change up middle middle and I'd hit a perfect fly ball 92 miles an hour for a lazy fly out. So he just doesn't have enough power, especially versus righties to kind of reward you for a lot of the good swings you take. Um, and the bigger PCI isn't really going to help you on lower difficulties, which is the main value of this card now. Defensively, he played okay. I played him in center field. He did have one big mishap, but overall he did fine. Uh, as far as covering ground, he did good with 99 speed. Uh, but another thing I want to bring up is that he does have 99 speed, but you should only have so many speed guys in your lineup. So if you're already running people, someone like Buxton, uh, if you're already running someone like Mondesi, someone with really high speed, you really only want one or two of these type of hitters in your lineup or you're leaving yourself susceptible to leaving a lot of runners on because you have a bunch of singles hitters and not a lot of power hitters. So um, if you run Buxton, if you run Mondesi, if you run someone else fast, uh, definitely don't get this card. And honestly, if you're content with your leadoff hitter um, as it stands right now, I probably wouldn't get this card either. Honestly, I love Ty Cobb. I can't wait for his signature series again this year. Uh, but for most people, probably wouldn't recommend this card. He just he just doesn't have enough power to make your good swings rewarded enough. So kind of a long review, but I hope it was detailed enough for y'all. As always, we'll rate him how he rates in the meta and we'll rate him compared to how much he costs. How he rates in the meta, I'll give him a B plus. He brings a lot of good things to the table, just not what most people need slash are looking for. Uh, and for the price, I'll give him a B because 40K is actually kind of expensive right now. Uh, but yeah, I do love Ty Cobb. I loved using this card. Given that he was used on Legend, I think 968 OPS through 150 at-bats is good for me. Uh, but it's not the same experience for y'all. So 
Hope you all enjoyed this video. Drop a comment down below if you want me to review anyone specifically. I am going to start rolling out videos of a lot of prospect cards since they did just tank in price today. Um, so look forward to that. Also, anyone besides prospects you want me to review, let me know. I'll read the comments, try to throw them in the squad. Uh, enjoy these clips, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I don't know how to take that. I'm sorry? Dude, Tyson Cobb. <laughs> it continues, bro. <laughs> this is the best fucking card. He threw to second base. He threw to home, I think. What the fuck? Dude, early. Oh, I wasn't early, but Ty Cobb. Don't put that shit on me. Tyson, get by him. Oh, Tyson Cobb. You gotta love him, chat, unless he's trying to make routine. Get up. Get over his head. Oh my god, Ty Cobb. Welcome in. Get the fuck out of here with that. Get out! Tell me Ty Cobb doesn't have power. That's what I'm talking about, BC. You're the dashboard king. I already knew it. Yo, Tyson Cobb? He doesn't have power? Question mark? That's twice tonight. Doesn't matter because Tyson Cobb's the best anyway. We're getting a double out of this. No way. Dude, Ty Cobb is the 